Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I am going to be doing another wee review uh, of a book that I have just finished. This is a book that I'd actually bought last year from when I was up at the, the, Bre the Breaking Angus Book Festival, when it was still called the Breaking Angus Book Festival, it's now, as you probably all know, it's now called the Angus Book Festival. But this is a book that I bought last year from one of the other authors who were taking part in the event. And yes, I, I do. When I'm, when I'm at events like this, I, I do try, try my best to try and support the other contributors, the other write, writers, because again, we're all a community of writers, which all should be supporting each other. But before I do get on to, to talk about that, it's a wee bit of housekeeping first. If you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page and the channel's PayPal account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I can talk about the book that I've just finished. So what I was just reading was Angus uh, Folk Tales by Erin uh, Farley. So it's just a wee closer look at the book there. And this is an illustration from one of the stories. Uh, so uh, as you can probably guess, all of the stories that are in this book are uh, about, or are stories from the Angus area. So just to read, give a wee quick read of the blurb just to give you a bit of an idea. Angus is a landscape of dramatic lands and rich farmland ancient weaving towns and fishing villages. From the city of Dundee to the lee of the Sidlaw Hills in the south and the Grampian Mountains in the north. The tales of Angus are as varied as the landscape they are tied to. Told through the years in castles, bothies, tenements and travellers' tents. Here, historical legends tell of Catarans roaming, roaming the glens, Jacobites, Jacobite intrigue, in Glen Isla, and pirates roving the stormy waters off their both coast. Kelpies, brownies and fairies lurk just out of sight on river banks and hillsides, waiting to, to draw unsuspecting travellers into another world. The land bears memories of ancient battles and ghosts continue to walk the old roads in the gloaming. In this collection, storyteller and local historian Erin Farley brings you a wealth of legends and folk tales, both familiar and surprising. Yeah, so Erin uh, was kind of to actually sign my copy form uh, last year. And yeah, so it was just really nice to be able to talk to her. And uh, I did hear her speaking at the book festival about uh, Angus folk tales and uh, folklore and uh, the inspiration behind her writing this book. So, as the blurb does say, a lot of the, the, the stories in this book are all do all come from like different parts of Angus. So we've got the ones from the Glens, we've got Strathmore. Uh, probably the most famous group of stories in this are the ones from Glam's Castle. Uh, Glam's Castle is probably the most famous location in Angus. Because again, there are a lot of really dark stories around about Glam's Castle. And there's tell you stories from Dundee, the Jacobites, Saints, uh, as well as kind of prehistoric stories as well, or stories associated with prehistoric locations. And yeah, and again, some, some of the stories are amusing, some of the stories are a bit more on the dark side. But again, that's kind of what you expect with Scottish folklore. There's always a, at least a hint of darkness or a hint of danger within a lot of Scottish stories. And yeah, so I, again, it's, it's not a massive book. It's not, it's not like a, a book that will take ages to read. Again, I'm a slow reader. It's... I, I do t tend to take a wee, a wee bit longer to read things, but I did actually really enjoy reading this because, again, me being a fantasy author, uh, writing a lot of different fantasy novels, 
I do find a lot of inspiration in folklore and legends and, and folk tales. As I always find at least some kernel of inspiration in a lot of these stories, especially Scottish folklore, Scottish mythology and folk tales. And yeah, so it's, it's always good to be able to uh, read wee books like this and look for, for more inspiration. And I did actually fight or I did really enjoy the way that Erin told the stories, or retold the stories in, in our book. And uh, throughout the book as well, there are some real illustrations, just to break up the stories, which I did find to be quite, quite a nice, nice addition. <coughs> and she does also retell the story of why, if you go to Dundee, there is actually a statue of a dragon on one of the main streets throughout the town, or through the town. Yeah, so it's definitely an interesting book just to be able to sit down and read, especially on kind of wet freak nights, just like tonight when I'm filming this. And But again, that's always a good thing about, about having good books. Uh, I'm not too sure how many events Erin does or how often she goes to events like the, the, the Angus Book Festival. But I do know that you can there is a lit that you can buy Angus Book Tales by Erin Fairley from Amazon. I will I know there's a link. I will again put that in, into the description bar below and a pinned comment. So if you're interested in in Angus Folk Tales. Definitely follow the link and get yourself a copy from there. So yeah, again, a wee kind of short book to sit and enjoy and read and learn a bit more about the folk tales of a part of Scotland. It is possibly possibly a bit overlooked when it comes to a lot of folk tale mythology. But definitely one I'd recommend to get yourself and sit and enjoy. So, hopefully you'll have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll be intrigued by Angus Folk Tales by Erin Fairley. And you will treat, go and treat yourself to a copy. Again, if you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you will leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.